Hey, uh, YouTubers, Taz man here bringing you another episode of Taz Teaches Java. In our last episode, I think we kind of restructured things. Uh, we set up the player, so now we have two players that can be created, a Taz man and a Derby fam. We also have it so that uh, you can actually enter in the player names, but we don't want to have to do that every single time while we're testing. Um, we just want it to actually do it. So we do have that all set up. Um, the other thing we did is we now have it so that it deals out the cards evenly. It deals one to one player, one to the other player, one to the first, one to the second. So what we're going to want now is probably uh, some ways to maybe check the cards, you know, look at the cards that the player has and distinguish... Let's see, probably distinguish if player one is the winner of the round or not the winner of the round. And uh, uh, if player one is the winner or player two is the winner or if it's a tie. And then if it's a tie, we have to play, we have to do a war, right? So we actually have to um, deal one card face down out on the, on the pile and then one card face up. For both of them at the same time so no, no, no. let's go ahead and work on that and see how far we can get so what we're gonna want to do let's just call this maybe check cards because we want to check our cards to see who won or if there is a winner or whatever so let's do PBL public and we're not gonna return anything and I really misspelled the void and do C H E C K C A R D S, and I don't think we need to be handed anything. And there we go. So first thing we need to do is we have we have player one and player two set up in here. So we're actually generating those players. Um, so we want to maybe just to make it a little easier is we will. Uh, let's see, we we'll want to check if we want, let me just think for a second, we might need something in players, let's go check, something like, we need something to tell us which, which whether we're player one or player two, so we need um, maybe like a pointer to say it's it's player one's turn, player two's turn. Um, yeah, I think so. Let's just go ahead and add that right here. Let's just do a um, private, private. Actually, no, we can make this public. This can actually be static because it, it you don't need this pointer for each each player it's just one pointer to say which one it is so we're actually going to make it a public static int and maybe call it card pointer to let us know where we are pointing at our card because um, we're not actually putting cards down we're just changing where we're looking at in the array so if the player one and player two have the same value on their card then what we want to do is skip a card and then look at the third card uh, for both of them hopefully that makes sense so this card pointer is going to keep track because if we have multiple wars we're gonna have to keep going down and there's a possibility you know that like three wars in a row means that there's going to be the main card two, four, like seven cards that the player is going to win. And we have to kind of keep track of all that. So we're going to have card pointer for the beginning. will always point to element zero. I think that makes sense. And because this is public, we don't need any special getters and setters for it. And now we should be able to check because basically we always want to look at the very top card unless the card pointer has has changed right so let's go ahead in here and we want to check our card pointer have our condition here be for our card, 
card pointer. The other thing I think I want to do is just to make it a little simpler so we don't have so much to type is maybe create Should we do it up here, maybe? I think, didn't we create, hold on just a second, let me think. Yeah, I, I think what we wanna do is maybe do int uh, for keeping the value of the card, and we'll do p1 comma p2. So this will, be placeholders for the actual value of the card and the reason we want this is just so we don't have to type out so much stuff every time because right now if you want to check the value of player one's card it would be players uh, bracket zero bracket dot get value weight p um, and then parentheses to call that that function so um, I think didn't we call it get get weight. No, maybe just get weight. But it's in the players. Did we? I don't remember. If, I, don't know, no, no, no. I think we might have to create another thing in here too. All right, well, let's just get going on this. So first thing we want to do is we want to check a condition. We're going to say if P-L-A-Y-E a player um, dot card pointer so there's our card pointer. And you'll notice we don't have to use uh, players or anything because when it's static, it doesn't have an instance of it. It doesn't have an object. So we're just accessing the static variable card pointer and we're checking it if it's equal to zero. Because if it's zero, that means we're just doing the top card. It doesn't matter. And so then we want to say p1 dot or p1 not dot equals p l a y e r s plot power I can never spell that p o players bracket zero uh, dot and I don't know we don't actually have a get value in here yet do we I don't think we do so maybe what we need to do is do we need to set up So in the player, we have our hand. We could do it this way, I think. So let's go to players. And I might want to do, in this game, we don't care about the value of the, um, of the, whatchamacallit, <laughs> the suit. So I'm not, I don't know, do we need to worry about that? So we're going to want to do two things. So let's see, we're going to want to do, 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 there's an add a card. There's our thing. Let's do our getter and setter like right here. Okay, so we're going to do, we're going to have a set up because we'll also want to get a value. Uh, like I said, if we're in a war, it's not going to be value zero. So we want two of these. There'll be two of our, they'll be overloaded basically because we'll have um, the get weight. And I think the reason I was saying P is because this is the player. We already have a get, uh, get uh, card in our deck, don't we? Or in our cards, get value. I wait, I think it's in the deck. So just to distinguish that, I think I'm gonna stick a P at the very end. So we're gonna do P U B a public, whoops, public, um, and we're gonna return a value. So we're gonna do public, uh, let's return an integer, and called get V A value. And it's not just the value of the card, it's the weight, W-E-I-G-H-T. And then it uh, doesn't need anything passed into it. And there we go. So now we're just gonna return R-E-T 
you are in. And we're going to return. So we need to do hand, right? Oops, hand. And here we're going to use our get. Do we have a get? We're going to want some to get. There's our get right there. So we want get. Oh, because that's, that's our, uh, our thing. So we're going to want to get. Hmm. I think we want to get the hand size so we know how big the hand is because we have to get the very last one remember so we need to say get hand size um, so hand dot, oops, dot size and then because this will give us like if we have 52 cards um, this will return 52 where in fact there's only 51 elements well there's up to element 51 is actually value 52 remember because it starts at zero so we'll have to subtract one this is going to grab the very last card and let's see then we want to say get our value weight so hopefully that makes sense the second one we're going to do is pretty much the exact same. So we're just going to copy that, come here, hit paste. We'll get an error for a minute because this one is going to accept an integer of which card, the location. L O C D D D. We'll just have it called Loke or something. And then this one. We'll want to be. Do I really need the lo location? We're actually going to use card pointer to tell us where it is. So the location is kind of going to be a dummy, I think. Maybe there's a better way to do this. I'm not sure. So we would want to say card point. So we're subtracting the one, right? But we're going to add that one to our card pointer. Card pointer. So basically, it doesn't matter what this location is. We don't really care. We just care that it's getting some kind of value of sent into it kind of I don't know kind of hooky but I guess we're gonna we're gonna go with it just for now anyway so now that we have that we can say players dot and we can say get value weight just like that and then we want to do the same thing with player two equals PLA PLA YRS players one which is actually player two. This is also another thing to help it be less confusing because player zero is player one, player one is player two. So this helps get rid of that confusing piece. So get value weight. And I think, oh, actually, yeah. So then what we'll do, you know what, actually, Let's just use loc here instead, because what we can do is just so it looks a little cleaner and more more logical is what it's doing. We'll just pass card pointer here into it. So this will be P. Oh, whoops, not here. This is on the second part. So let's go ahead and say E L S E. So if it's not a value zero, then what we want to do is this exact same thing except we want to pass in this so this is doing the exact same thing as putting card pointer right there this is just going to pass in what the value of card pointer is so this will give us a v card that we're looking at and i think that's what we want there the next thing we'll want to do is we will want to actually check uh, who's winning so let's go ahead and say if 
and we'll say P1. See, you'll notice this is much easier to type than, than all that players bracket zero bracket get value weight blah blah blah. So we can say now we can just say P1 is greater than P2. And if P1 is greater than P2, then we know player one one, and we can say, I think I might want, let me think just for a second. Do we have it in here? We're gonna want to display the results, um, but we don't have that function yet. So I think what we're gonna do is we'll just say D-I-S-P-L-A-Y display R-E-S-U-L-T-S and call it that. Um, and then we're gonna create another one that will reward the winter, re reward the winter, re Okay, reward the winner. Something like that. But this one we're gonna pass. For now, what we're gonna pass is we're actually gonna pass two integers. The one will be basically it's gonna look at it as the boolean. So if it's a one, it's true. If it's a zero, it's false. So this is saying this will be player one on the other end. This will be player two. Like I said, I don't know if this is the best way to do it. So then we also want to check if, let's go ahead and say else if, control C, P-L-S-S-E, else if, do that. Now the reason we're doing this as an else if is because there will be a third condition, con condition, whether it's a tie, and even the tie, just for error, just for a debugging and making sure that, you know, if for some reason some other type of value gets in here, we'll have an error as the final else. So this is going to do the exact same thing except for we will set that to zero and that to one. E L S E else if oops control my F control V. There we go. Whoops. That's the wrong one. Control Z. I was thinking I had this in my queue. My clipboard. Alright, V and this will be equals equals meaning that we have a tie and a war needs to happen. And that's going to be a little bit different because um, what we're going to have to do is recall. We're going to basically recursively call check cards, but this time it will have the value in it to actually have it um, to have it check the next card or the value of the card we want. So let's see. So we're going to want to maybe say um, oh we should have some value in here. So display results. If we press it, if we pass it a zero, it should say that player one one. If it's a one, player two one. That way we can even use this as the element that we want. Um, and then maybe we pass it like a three if it's a tie. Ugh, my hands, I grabbed the wrong thing. Rrr. Wait, where'd it go? Reward winner. Wait, control Z. Did I? Control C. I think I pasted it instead of copied it. D. There, so this is going to be zero. And then let's go ahead and do this and say C and then a V here. So this will be three. This will be if it's a tie. So it'll get a zero, one, or a three. We could have done two, I guess. I don't know why I did three. <laughs> I guess we could do two. Zero, one, and two. 
it just seems a little confusing and then like I said what we're gonna do is re this is gonna call itself so it's gonna call check cards but it's going to call it hmm but first check cards before we call it let me just think for a second we're gonna want to let's increment our card pointer to be plus two so it goes down two cards so that's where we're gonna point so play player dot card pointer equals or actually plus equals and two so that will increment our card pointer and then we want to pass players dot card pointer right player dot card pointer into this guy so it'll increment our card pointer then it will go ahead and what's going on here method check cards oh actually no 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 we're fine we don't even need to do that we're just passing it regular but see card pointer is going to be incremented so it'll actually do it here so we're good all right so we need display results right 21 minutes mm. So let's just think really quick what we want for dis display results. Um, let's go ahead and create a display results and a reward winner. Win winter, winner. And um, what we're going to do instead of this being, because I want it to be able to do this intelligently with as little things. Uh, let me just, I'll show you what I'm thinking if I'm thinking right. So there's our check cards. Let's go ahead and come down a couple. So we're going to do display results. Uh, so uh, this is going to be private. Private. And do we need to return anything? No, I don't think so. Void. T-I-S-P-L-A-Y R-E-S-U-L-T-S so here's our display results. Uh, we are receiving a value, the winner. So int win, winner, and there we go. So this will help us just know who actually won. And since this is all console, we could actually just have it do an S out. It's kind of better to do just pass a string back. I don't know. Well, well I'll think about it. Um, I kind of just want to get this guy done so we can actually start our next one. And then I think maybe we'll do one or so more of uh, these console games that are just console things and then we're gonna actually do one that I'm kind of excited we're gonna start getting into GUI stuff so we're gonna get into actual graphics reward winner and I think we're gonna say maybe instead of say player one player two we're gonna say the source and destination SRC so what the source is because that way it can be uh, player one or player two we're like that and in DST I'm going to do destination DST and that should do that and do I think this one nope we're not going to return anything wait what are we award I N N E R. Oops. <laughs> I guess I've spelled right. Winner. Okay. <sighs> so I think this is a good stopping point for now. Um, we're at 24 minutes.
Yeah, we're, we're at 24 minutes, so I think this is a good enough stopping point, 25 minutes. Um, and in the next episode, we'll go ahead and do our display results and our display winner, or reward our winner. And maybe then we'll try and give it a run, see if it runs, or see what else we need to do. But I think it's pretty good for now. Um, we've now got it... Oh yeah, that's for that guy. I was like, why is this SC up here? Yellow. Um, yeah, we've we've got it pretty much underway, I think. So if we hit save, we don't have any reds. We do have some warnings because there's things we aren't using currently because it's down in here. And do do there's our SC right there. All right, well. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to leave a thumbs up down below. Aside from that, comment, like, and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter. Check out my Discord and my other channels. You can find all the information for my other channels and the Discord in the video description. And uh, that's it. Until next time, I'll be seeing you later. Bye.